they don't give you food on the train. I'm like, what? No food in the train? I'm like, bro. Back up, back up. Who say new she makes? Hey. Hello, my people. Good morning and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Chimex here again, and today I'll be heading back to Douala. Finally, man, Yaoundé is not just for me, honestly. I'm not a fan of this town. So, yeah, I'll be heading back to Douala, and as you guys already know, I got a free Ali Retu ticket, Ali Retu Ali ticket. So, but I don't feel like using the bus. I don't feel like using the bus. So, guess what? I'll be using the train. Whoa, like. I'll be using the train guys i'll be using camera it was inaugurated some days ago and i'll be using it for my very very first time ever since the Eseka incident i've been skeptical about using camera but hey shit happens road air sea wherever means of transportation so uh, accidents happen so we just have to take the risk and it's something which i had never envisaged of doing but my friend lydia tufi who is a german youtuber as well she's in germany she does amazing german content she's a nurse she brought up the idea in our group and i was like oh i mean yaoundi so why don't i just do this experience it and bring you guys the experience along the way thank you lydia for proposing this idea i never thought of it i have to go away from my comfort zone and use the train for the very first time we're using the vip section uh, but I'll take you guys along through the economic class and everything, show you guys everywhere how it looks like, what you can, what you should expect and everything. I had to sell drinks in the train. I also tried to experience that and how it feels. So yeah, it's going to be an exciting journey, I guess. Not so much views because everything is just going to be green because, because we're passing through bushes and all that. I, I, so I know. Yeah, so um, without much talking let's just dive into the business so let's go get a cab and head to the train station right now see you guys soon so guys we are on our way to Kamrai now um i don't know what neighborhood this is but i don't think we are far from there I can't wait man, I can't wait to experience this journey Bring you guys the experience along with me um, It's gonna be amazing, I guess It's gonna be a nice one I'm about to get my ticket now. Let's see how it works. So 1430, no? Okay. Premier class. Hello? What's happening? The ticket. Pardon? Stand ticket a pam beaucoup de temps comme ça. Pam beaucoup de temps. When the connection. So after getting my ticket, I have to wait here for two hours. It's midday now, it's 12 p.m. I have to wait for two hours before I can get inside. Um, this is, I don't know, like this is where I have to sit and wait. I asked if I can get inside to, you know, sit, maybe feel comfortable where there is AC, where I can charge my phone as well, but we just have to wait outside here. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all, but this is Cameroon. Nothing makes sense in Cameroon. So I just have to wait. And um, yeah. Oh, this is this is frustrating. 
sometimes the incompetence in people who are put in certain situations in Cameroon really baffles me. Like, how can you tell me I can't sit inside and wait? I have to sit outside and wait when there is a waiting room inside. Like, it's really, really crazy. So I met one security man and I explained to him, like, I need to charge my phone and I need to rest because... I'm traveling at 2 p.m. and I can't sit outside. He was so understanding. He told me to come inside, charge my phone, and um, sit a bit. I was wondering if there's a cafe, a restaurant, but there's no restaurant here. No drinks, no restaurant. So uh, I don't know how I'm going to feed myself. For now, I just have to wait and be patient. I just have to wait and be patient. Mm, so I thought I just had to wait and be patient. Why? Because I knew there was going to be food in the train. Yeah, I knew there was going to be food in the train. I was going to eat some good, nice steak with um, fry, fries, sandwich, and have enough water to digest. And let's just keep watching. Yeah. So, this is what it looks like inside. like this is my seat right here get you to see hmm. really nice I'm trying to take you guys to check out the economy side I don't know how it looks like so that's what I'm trying to do right now Okay. This is the restaurant section. I've been walking since, since, since because I'm in the first wagon, so I've been walking ever since till now. It's virtually the same thing everywhere, the same thing. 
C'est la même chose partout. So they have a charging spot right there. Okay. We just left. Mm. Mind you, this is my first time in the train. Everything is going like this. It was at this moment that I said, guy, God, Papa, God, take me safe. Take me home safe. I can't do this anymore. this journey i didn't close my eyes for one second one one second the train was noisy like buck up 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 hey my mommy you know for those of us who use the road all the time um we get used to when we horn or whatever it's honk or horn when we press the beep beep it means okay danger out of the way we're trying to avoid danger we're trying to like get away from danger the bus and the driver horns beep beep like we get scared he's trying to avoid danger beep he's trying to avoid danger um but for a train it horns to signify okay danger clear of the way danger clear of the way and you can imagine being in the train and all the time it's honing, honking, honking, pom, 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 pom. Like when you hear that sound, you just automatically get frightened because you feel like, okay, there's some danger ahead. Meanwhile, it's trying to signify that, okay, I'm coming. Don't be on the rail. <sighs> that was for my for the first time, uh, that, that honking sign, honking noise uh, always like feels like, okay, there's danger ahead. I'm scared. Okay, then when I realized that, okay, I'm in a train, I balance up. So, yeah, that was also something which was scary, I know. Pourquoi? Normalement, c'est comme ça que ça fait? Voilà. Normalement, c'est comme ça que ça roule? Oui, oui, oui. Si c'est mon premier fois, donc... So this was me throughout the journey like this was the period i sent you guys that message on youtube like it's really terrible uh, we're going left right left right too much tension i started picking my nails like it was bad we had five stops along the way at ngumu at Eseka, at idea and one other station i don't know passing through this valley oh my god it was scary was scary like going through this valley looking down oh my god no so i was trying to go east myself and um, i saw this like this is where the, the wagons join each other and it was really really a scary ride so this is us at edea edea bridge so i took Kamurai VIP Premier Class. Now, all things is I don't travel bus for on a train. This is all I've eaten. I brought my water. They don't give food, they don't give water, they don't give anything. 
how can you guys make publicity and everywhere you're seeing how they give food they give sandwich they give water and everything and we get into the train and nothing and when i come out to ask you tell me they canceled it the previous day and you guys will update it on your whatsapp or, or on the on the pub on the magazine or whatever brochure you guys are serving out in the nearest future people come to this train hoping that okay they're going to eat because at least for a vip client they deserve water at least water just the least minimum water but nothing where does it happen we, even a bus phoenix pays six thousand and they give people water and i think croissant or whatever but a whole train for a vip clients no water nothing guys guys please don't go here thinking they're going to serve you food nothing nothing so for me don't use it don't don't they are liars no way The only thing I like about this journey was the fact that we avoided traffic. Like, there was no traffic. Um, all this Dwala stress with traffic, it was avoided. That was the only thing. So, we just got to Dwala. Guys, I'm seated here in this wagon. So cold. No regulation. Like, everything is so freezing cold. Like, it cannot even be regulated. Like, it does not even make sense. I. So if you're traveling here yeah, and you want to take your kids along, for an adult, someone can withstand it, but gear up, guys, gear up. It's really, really cold. Like, I don't know, maybe, I don't know about the economy class, but if you're planning on using the VIP, guys, it's cold. Gear up. Like, it's really cold. Non, mais on, on, fait, on fait tout ça, mais il n'y a pas la nourriture dans, la, dans, 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 dans le voyage. On a ce retour, euh, on, on, on l'a remonté, je peux vous dire. Ah, Massa, non, moi j'ai payé 10 000. Euh, Massa, non, je ne suis pas content. On, on je suis pas content. Je pas content. Donc tout, 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 tout c'est comme ça. Oui. Donc pas tout, c'est comme ça. Oui, c'est pas mais je dis, on a, on a remonté l'information. Ah, donc il n'y a pas de nourriture. Voilà. On a. You see, on est en train de But you guys cannot en train de the prices. You guys are not giving food. You guys cut that off. But you cannot slice down the prices. Thieves! Tout le monde, we have to get angry. This is madness. This is crazy. Like, it's, it's, it's not even reasonable. For my first time using train in Cameroon, no water to drink. You guys are really crazy, eh? All of you in camera, tout le monde camera malade. Laisse-moi tranquille. So yeah, guys, that was my unfiltered experience for a first time I using a train in Cameroon. Like it wasn't really a good experience for me. I don't know it might be good for you, but for me, I'm telling you guys my own personal experience. I didn't enjoy it one bit. I wasn't comfortable from start to finish, so I wasn't happy about it. But if you want to get a, if you want to get experience as well, you can go ahead and try it out. Maybe you might. You might see some other side of it which is good but for me nah nothing was good like just the fact that we avoided traffic and that was it so so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up many more amazing travel contents coming your way and don't forget to subscribe if you are new here my people thank you very much and see you on the next one bye